Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Hussein Haydari and I am presenting the unraveling of the dynamics of DI in construction thanks to the opportunity given to me by the CIB. So one of the major problems that the construction industry is facing right now is the severe labor shortages. And uh, future projections and uh, current socioeconomic change are showing that this problem will only get worse over the time. The lack of recruitment and retention of uh, diverse group, groups uh, as an untapped labor pool is a major reason for this problem. And we need to move beyond the numbers and the data to create a supporting environment for everyone to prosper. Uh, diversity has many forms from uh, women to uh, certain ethnicities to disabled individuals and many other forms in construction industry. In this slide, for example, you can see the statistics of women representation in the construction industry globally. As you can see, the problem is, uh, is worldwide. And also there has been an increase in the US uh, in the growth of uh, women's representation in construction industry. This increase has not been adequate. So therefore, this, this is a problem that needs to be addressed. And our work has started to do so by reviewing industry papers and academic papers. We have published some academic papers and white papers to establish an, an industry academy of collaboration for our ongoing efforts. One of the major research gaps in this area is that there are no action lists for firms to, or other organizations to perform to improve the DEI. And, and also there, there hasn't been any study to that uh, that analyzes the intersectional implications between those parameters or actions between certain groups and how they actually impact each other to give a comprehensive solution. So our proposed study analyzes the interrelationships using system dynamics approach to get a comprehensive view and give a solution and a set of practices for comp to companies to pick a uh, tailored to their workforce demographic statistics without on revealing their uh, confidential data and therefore we have increased the industry and academia collaboration in this uh, area. Uh, in this slide you can see a brief uh, representation of the expected outcomes on for example how the representation of women and certain ethnic minorities can affect uh, parameters such as performance or safety of the project and we need there are a lot of more parameters and a lot of more relationships that need to be addressed and analyzed using this study. At the end, I want to thank you for listening to my presentation and I, and I look forward to our upcoming meeting. Thank you.